Hey guys, today we're going to talk more about visual memory and elaborative encoding and how these techniques can really help you in medical school. We're also going to talk about photographic memory and if it really actually exists. Finally, we're going to talk about savants in the past that have had amazing memories and how certain things in their brain and way of interpreting the environment might have allowed them to have these amazing memories. So stay tuned and we'll talk more. interesting because I had done well in college, but when I got to medical school, it just seemed like a completely different ballgame. There was so much memorization. Um, there was more memorization in one biochem exam that I had than I would have in an entire semester of college. And then when I learned the memorization techniques, it just made everything so much easier for me. So I felt like I really needed to show people how it was done and how well it applies to memorizing medical information. So there's actually no evidence of a person actually having photographic memory in the scientific literature. Um, scientists have brought a number of different people in that claim that they have photographic memory but they don't really stand up to the tests. And when I say photographic memory I mean being able to look at a page for a couple of seconds and then go off somewhere else and be able to see the page in your mind and all the writing on it and be able to read it just from memory. That doesn't seem to happen. That's just not the way that the human brain seems to be wired. So although our brain doesn't really remember words, it remembers images incredibly well. There was a guy named Shepard in the 60s and 70s. He was a psychologist and did a bunch of studies with memory, especially visual memory. And what he found was that if he showed students hundreds upon hundreds of photos and then later showed them photos that he had shown them alongside photos that he had not shown them, students were able to pick out which photo that they had seen before over 90% of the time. And this really showed an incredible ability to remember visual images in the human brain. So even if these students couldn't remember what order the pictures were in, somewhere in their mind they had remembered which ones that they had seen before. And this really is a testament to the visual memory technique because if you think about being able to transform the pictures into context, into, into places, into visual things to remember, you're going to remember the material much better. Now of course there's records of savants that have incredible memory there was a guy named Kim Peek. He was actually the uh, inspiration for Dustin Hoffman's Rain Man character, if you've seen that movie. But this guy would read a phone book two pages at a time, mind you. The right page with his right eye and the left page with his left eye and just memorize the names on the, the phone book. And when they took a look at this guy's brain, he was actually missing his corpus callosum which is the connection between your right and left hemispheres of your brain. Somehow it was allowing him to make associations with information to allow him to have this amazing memory. Scientists have theorized that the lack of the corpus callosum allowed him to make associations between uh, different pieces of information to a point where he had an incredible memory. There's another self-described savant named Daniel Tammet, and this guy would memorize thousands of digits of the number pi, learn Icelandic in less than a week, crazy memory feats. And he was less socially hindered than Kim Peek was, and he would describe seeing numbers and words as textures and smells and visual images and all this context. Um, it's called synesthesia when you can translate between the senses like that. And this allowed him to have incredible memory as well. So all that is sort of a testament to being able to translate this medical information into pictures of your own choosing in order to lock the information into your brain and allow you to do really well in medical school. I mean, man. 
Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for video 3 out of 5 in which I do a full demonstration of the visual memory techniques.